So our expectations are that uh, with this topographically confined area, uh, it'll begin to fill up a little bit like a bathtub, and it depends on uh, how long the eruption goes on. But there's just one spillway, and that's over there. So if uh, the eruption continues for a longer period of time, uh, we might have quite a show once that uh, bathtub begins to drain into the next area. So it's quite an interesting eruption. It, it didn't really begin with a strong bang, but instead we've had this fantastic earthquake swarm with probably 50,000 earthquakes in a, a month. And so the magma had been gradually rising towards the surface and is now producing a relatively small eruption compared to the last one in Iceland, Holohern in 2014-2015, which was a much bigger event. But this one's close to Reykjavik and a uh, fantastic setting to study. Here at this yeah, most beautiful thing that I have seen, this volcano, we are just making that people are safe and, and yeah, trying to have, let people have distance from the lava. People were getting like a little bit nervous about it because it was had been for two weeks straight or three weeks, I don't know. And, but now that's down and this is up, so we are, it's, that's good. Good talk with me. Being good clothes, it's cold in Iceland. Uh, it's hard to walk here. Uh, the wind can change at every time, so you have to think about gas and stuff like that. Like we are now with the wind from from this side, so the gas is going there. So we're safe. If you're standing there, you're not safe. So you have to you have to be very careful. Ah. Okay, it's alright.